Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine Vargas and today we're going to be doing this very like majestic kind of galaxy vibes look. So really nice, pretty. I've never ever done a look like this where it doesn't like, for example, involve like a full cut crease or half cut crease. This is just kind of like a blend of color here, but I am living for it. I love it and i am using a new palette today so long story short i did get promoted at my job and to celebrate my boyfriend did pick out um, a couple of stuff for me he got me like a robe stuff like that but then i also got to pick out this palette right here you guys are probably familiar with it i'm just gonna scoot back a little bit for you guys can see but it is the blends bunny cosmetics palette i think it's just like their first one ever and i've seen so many videos of this palette and i've never tried it but i know that the hype is there and let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of it so this is what the inside looks like very nice beautiful basically colorful palette and it is just like right up my alley so i decided to go ahead and pick that up and that is what we are using in today's eye look so far i am obsessed with it i am in love with this palette i'm just like ready to do another look but yeah definitely definitely recommend this one so you guys know the gist don't forget to follow me on my social medias i am active on tiktok i am active on instagram i'm gonna go ahead and leave them down below so that we can go ahead and just chat there if you guys want don't forget to comment subscribe helps me out a ton and without further ado let's just jump right into this video so starting with the shade bewitch i'm going to start building this shade up just at the end of my eye just keeping it precisely at the end and i'm just going to take it up as high as i think i would need it so that's what i'm doing here then to blend out that bewitch shade i'm taking the shade signs and i'm just going to focus on this portion before i move into the other colors now to further blend this i'm taking the shade giggle and just using it to blend out the shade signs and just create this like very beautiful blends of purples Then I just go back into the shades and just blend them better into one another. Then I'm taking this black shade right here and I am just using this to deepen up that outer end corner. Now I'm taking the shade Bubble Bath and I'm going to start packing this right next to the Bewitch shade. And then also blending it into the Signs and Giggle shades. Then I'm taking the shade Inside Joke and basically repeating the steps. For now, I am just packing on the colors so that I know where, um, like the layout that I want and how high I want to take. So I'm just packing on the colors. I also took the white and I put it right in the inner corner. Now that all the shades are laid down, it's time to blend. So I'm basically going into each one of the shades, blending it into one another. I used the Signs and Giggle shades to kind of help me with the bubble bath just creating almost like a um gradient effect into the bewitch and black shade so that is what i ended up doing and this will create that beautiful blend here then i took the Cara beauty eyeliner created a small line and then used the black shade to go over that line just to make it matte for primer i'm taking the professional light primer then to also help me out with my pores i went in with the professional super setter spray to go ahead and just prep my skin for foundation i'm taking the rare beauty foundation in 240w definitely a good foundation more on like the natural side it's definitely not full coverage but it does give you like that nice everyday coverage look then for um, bronzer i am taking the persona bronzer in sahara i haven't used this in so long so i was just like you know let's go ahead and use this in today's video it's nice blends out really really easy and i just like the shade color 
for blush, I'm taking the Rare Beauty blush in Encourage. I thought it'd be like that nice pinky um, hue that would go good with this eye look. So that's why I went with this shade. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Sand. And I'm going in with a beauty blender and look at that coverage. It definitely completes the look. Then to go ahead and set that, I'm actually going to go in with the Patrick Star One Size. This is a really, really good powder. Definitely helps with pores and just making your skin look really airbrushed. For bronzer, I'm taking the LYS No Limit Bronzers in Harmony to go ahead and just set that um, Persona bronzer that I used. Then I'm using the Tress Luce Beauty Ready to Bounce Blush in the shade On the Move. So this is going to help set the Rare Beauty Blush. Now I'm taking the LA Girl Shockwave Liner in Fresh. And this will elevate the look to a different level. I'm going to show you guys right here. But it is so pigmented and I feel like it just elevated the look. Working on the bottom lash line, I'm just going back into those three shades. Um, and just basically running them on my bottom lash line. So Bewitch, Signs, and Giggles. Going ahead and just blending them into one another. And it just feels like a good pop against that blue liner that I use on my waterline. I went ahead and used the KKW number 2 and then an e.l.f lip gloss and this is the complete look thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys